15 Psychological Facts About Cheating Ever pondered the reasons behind infidelity? It's not as simple as it seems. Cheating goes beyond mere dissatisfaction or a lack of moral integrity. The psychology of infidelity is complex, and in this video, we explore 15 psychological facts shedding light on why individuals deviate from their relationships. We'll delve into insights from diverse studies, from the correlation between specific personality types and cheating tendencies to the influence of power dynamics. Surprisingly, we'll also touch upon the paradoxical phenomenon of infidelity in seemingly happy relationships. It's essential to note that understanding these reasons doesn't equate to endorsing them, we're simply aiming for a deeper insight. 1. Dissatisfaction doesn't always lead to cheating. Contrary to common belief, discontent or dissatisfaction within a relationship isn't the sole catalyst for infidelity. Surprisingly, even couples in ostensibly happy relationships may engage in cheating. It's crucial to recognize that cheating is a highly individualistic behavior. While for some, dissatisfaction may play a significant role, for others, the allure of novelty or an inflated ego could be the driving force behind infidelity. A study revealed that individuals often stray due to feelings of neglect and underappreciation in their current relationships. Emotional fulfillment tends to outweigh physical dissatisfaction in these cases. So, if you believe that a perfect relationship provides absolute protection against cheating, it's time to reconsider. 2. Cheating can be addictive. It might sound peculiar, but it's a reality. Cheating can become addictive, not necessarily because of the physical intimacy, but due to the dopamine rush associated with the behavior. Dopamine, a neurotransmitter linked to reward and pleasure in the human brain, plays a pivotal role. The thrill, secrecy, and the risk of being discovered contribute to an adrenaline rush that elevates dopamine levels, creating a craving for more. As indicated by studies, the excitement of an affair can develop into an addiction, comparable to the allure of drugs or gambling. Once an individual experiences the thrill of this forbidden fruit, stopping may prove challenging, even with an awareness of the potentially devastating consequences. 3. Insecurity can fuel infidelity. In the complex realm of human psychology, insecurity emerges as a significant factor in infidelity. This might appear paradoxical, as we commonly link cheaters with confidence and boldness. However, the truth is that many individuals who cheat are propelled by feelings of inadequacy and insecurity. Research indicates that those with low self-esteem and a negative body image are more prone to infidelity. They often resort to cheating as a means of self-validation, seeking external affirmation to feel attractive or desired. Hence, it's crucial to recognize that even individuals who exude confidence may conceal profound insecurities within. 4. Cheating can run in families. Inheritance goes beyond genetics and assets, occasionally, behavioral traits also have a familial connection. It may be unexpected, but research indicates that cheating can become a family affair. The study revealed that individuals whose parents engaged in infidelity were twice as likely to do the same. The precise reason for this correlation isn't entirely clear. Some psychologists posit that children learn relationship management by observing their parents. If they witness infidelity, they might perceive it as normal or acceptable behavior. It's important to note that not everyone from such a background will necessarily engage in cheating, but the likelihood may be higher. 5. Cheaters often possess Machiavellian traits. Within the realm of psychology, there exists a branch that delves into personality traits known as the dark triad, encompassing narcissism, Machiavellianism, and psychopathy. Individuals possessing these traits are inclined towards engaging in morally questionable behaviors, such as infidelity. Specifically, those with Machiavellian traits demonstrate a higher likelihood of cheating. Machiavellianism is marked by manipulation and a lack of moral constraints. According to a study, individuals with elevated Machiavellian traits tend to be serial cheaters. Their disregard for ethical standards, coupled with adept manipulative skills, often propels them towards infidelity while skillfully navigating the potential consequences. 6. Power increases the likelihood of cheating. Does power lead to corruption, even in matters of fidelity? Research suggests that individuals in positions of power are more prone to infidelity. This tendency arises because power enhances confidence, diminishes the fear of consequences, and opens up more opportunities for engaging in unfaithful behavior. A study led by Joris Lammers at the University of Tilburg and his team discovered a robust correlation between power, confidence, and infidelity. It appears that those in positions of power often experience a sense of invincibility, fostering feelings of entitlement and an increased likelihood of engaging in cheating. 
7. Infidelity is not always about sex. Despite initial impressions, infidelity doesn't solely revolve around sexual attraction or desire. Surprisingly, there are instances where the driving force behind cheating is the emotional connection. Emotional infidelity occurs when a person invests more emotionally in a relationship outside their primary one. This type of cheating often originates from the individual's longing for emotional intimacy and understanding, which may be lacking in their current relationship. Consequently, emotional satisfaction emerges as a pivotal factor in fidelity, sometimes outweighing the importance of physical satisfaction. 8. Men and women cheat for different reasons. The motivations behind infidelity aren't one-size-fits-all, they can significantly differ based on gender. In broad terms, men tend to cheat for reasons more linked to seeking sexual novelty and variety, while women often engage in infidelity due to emotional dissatisfaction. Research from the University of Texas supports this distinction. The study reveals that men are inclined to pursue more thrilling and diverse sexual experiences, whereas women seek emotional connection and communication, which they might perceive as lacking in their current relationship. However, these patterns are not absolute, given the intricate nature of infidelity. It's crucial to bear in mind that everyone is unique, and these reasons may not be applicable to all individuals of a specific gender. Infidelity can be influenced by a diverse array of individual experiences and circumstances. 9. Cheaters often believe their cheating is justified. Curious about how individuals who cheat manage their guilt? The explanation lies in cognitive dissonance and self-justification. Cheaters, at times, don't perceive themselves as inherently bad. Instead, they often convince themselves that their infidelity is justified, thereby diminishing their sense of guilt. As per the cognitive dissonance theory, individuals strive for consistency in their beliefs and actions. When faced with a conflict, such as acknowledging fidelity while maintaining a self-perception as a good person, people tend to adjust their beliefs to align with their actions. In this context, cheaters may modify their views on fidelity, persuading themselves that their actions were necessary or inevitable due to specific circumstances. However, this self-justification often involves a form of self-deception, enabling the cheater to evade confronting the moral implications of their actions. Understanding this psychological process doesn't endorse or excuse infidelity, rather, it provides insight into the cognitive mechanisms at play behind such behavior. 10. Some personality types are more likely to cheat. Personality emerges as a crucial factor in determining an individual's susceptibility to infidelity. Certain personality types, particularly those characterized as more impulsive or adventurous, may exhibit a higher inclination toward cheating. Research reveals a noteworthy correlation between infidelity and the sensation-seeking personality trait, marked by a desire for novel and diverse experiences and a readiness to take risks for such encounters. Individuals with this trait often experience boredom easily and are constantly seeking new thrills, potentially leading them towards infidelity. Similarly, individuals who score high on avoidance of commitment also demonstrate an elevated propensity for cheating. These individuals often harbor a fear of long-term commitment and may resort to cheating as a means of escaping the perceived constraints of their relationship. It's important to note that understanding these personality traits doesn't justify or excuse cheating, rather, it provides insight into the predispositions that might contribute to such behavior. 11. Infidelity can occur even in good relationships. It's a common assumption that infidelity stems from issues within a relationship. However, the perplexing reality is that cheating can occur even in healthy and happy relationships. The question arises, why would someone jeopardize a good relationship? The answer lies in the fact that individuals sometimes cheat not due to dissatisfaction in their current relationship but because of personal discontent. These personal struggles may result from internal conflicts, a yearning for novelty, or a simple lack of self-control. Due to these personal struggles, individuals may engage in infidelity even when all their needs are met within the relationship, for reasons unrelated to their partner or the quality of the relationship. This serves as a reminder that infidelity often reflects individual choices and may not necessarily indicate a flaw in the relationship itself. 12. How Attachment Styles Impact Cheating Tendencies the attachment styles we develop in childhood have a profound impact on our romantic relationships, influencing not only how we connect with our partners but also our likelihood of infidelity. For example, researchers propose that individuals with insecure attachment styles are more prone to unfaithfulness. Specifically, those with an avoidant attachment style exhibit a higher susceptibility to infidelity. These individuals often grapple with commitment and intimacy, leading them to seek distance from their partner, at times resorting to cheating. 
Conversely, individuals with secure attachment styles, characterized by comfort with intimacy and dependence, are less inclined to engage in infidelity. However, it's important to note that having an insecure attachment style doesn't necessarily mean one is destined to cheat, it simply points to a discernible pattern. Through self-awareness and intentional effort, anyone can work on their attachment styles, fostering the development of healthier and more secure relationships. 13. Technology facilitates cheating. The digital era has not only transformed our lives but has also redefined the landscape of infidelity. With the rise of technology, cheating has become both more accessible and intricate. Social media platforms and dating apps have streamlined the process of connecting with others, often resulting in emotional or physical infidelity. According to research, individuals who extensively use social media are more prone to cheating, given the increased opportunities for contact and secrecy it provides. Furthermore, online interactions can swiftly evolve into intimacy, giving rise to what is termed as micro-cheating, a series of seemingly minor actions that can be emotionally unfaithful. While technology serves as a valuable tool for communication, it is imperative to be mindful of its potential pitfalls. Establishing clear boundaries and maintaining open communication with your partner are crucial steps in preventing misunderstandings and potential issues. 14. Cheaters are likely to cheat again. The adage, once a cheater, always a cheater, may carry some validity. While it's unfair to categorize all cheaters as habitual transgressors, research does indicate a discernible pattern. Individuals who have cheated once are more prone to repeating the behavior in future relationships. This pattern, as explained by research, may be attributed to factors such as a lack of remorse, an inability to comprehend the root causes, or simply the allure of forbidden love. Nevertheless, it's crucial to acknowledge that people have the capacity to change. Cheating doesn't permanently define one's character, and with genuine remorse, introspection, and concerted effort, individuals can break free from this pattern. 15. Cheating can be a form of self-sabotage. Infidelity isn't solely about the pursuit of pleasure, at times, it serves as a manifestation of self-sabotage. Certain individuals, often on a subconscious level, create challenges in their lives, especially when things are going well. Cheating on their partners becomes a means to instigate a crisis, driven by a deep-seated belief that they don't deserve happiness or success. Psychologists refer to this behavior as self-sabotage, often rooted in low self-esteem and feelings of unworthiness. In this context, cheating is not an effort to attain happiness but rather a self-imposed punishment. This complex psychological issue frequently necessitates professional help for effective resolution. Understanding the psychology of cheating is intricate and demands empathy and comprehension. Crucially, while delving into the reasons behind infidelity can provide insights, it doesn't justify the behavior. Remaining faithful is a conscious choice, one that each individual must actively make in their relationships. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.